said that uh, Anthony told Jimmy that Opie was over at Sam's house, and Sam said something about Anthony doing something about Opie. So everybody just started talking about it. And that's when no one liked Ron because he was being funny, so everyone wanted him to leave. So that Anthony, <clears throat> Anthony was fighting with some black woman in Times Square, and then his girlfriend was mad at him, and he couldn't find his gun. So Jimmy kept acting like he was a pedophile, and that got Opie mad. And then Sam Michaels, oh, I could sneak right in there, and it could be my show. And then Dennis Falcone came in, and he wanted to count down the hits. And I was like, Dennis, get out of here. Where's our security out to take Dennis out? And then Anthony, I think, went to rehab or something. And when he came back, when he came back, Jimmy was there and he was talking to him about it. And he found out that Opie said something about somebody else. And somebody was a cunt that wouldn't even look at him. I think that was Dennis Falcone or Iraq or somebody. And that's because. This is the most important part of it. Sam saw Iraq. I think he was kissing Roland or something. And nobody knew what to do, so they just got out of there. And that was the biggest gossip that we had because there was sharks. Like there were sharks in an aquarium. And everybody didn't know what it meant. But my head was on a swivel. I had to keep my head on a swivel because just like I was trying to take a picture and like some black girl's like, what are you doing, you white motherfucker? And I said, I'm not doing anything. And now I'm fired. No, that's crazy. So Opie wanted to go to mornings, but the afternoons were there. And like Jim was there or something. So he had a special to do her. I don't know what happened, but keep gossiping about it. And then Ron was saying to Fez, like, are you okay, buddy? And he's like, no, everybody's making me crazy. So there's all kinds of stuff happening. Nobody knows what happened to anybody else. So keep just gossiping about it on, on Twitter and Pinterest and Instagram. Sam, it was Sam. Like, if you hear me dying, I'll just go like this. It was Sam. Lots of big gossip going around school this week. I mean, lots of it. Like, no one is talking right now to Jimmy because he was telling Sam that he wanted to be friends with Anthony. And then Opie wanted to be friends with somebody, but then he was on a beach, like a mysterious beach. And he's like, get Ron out of here. Nobody wants to see Ron around here. And I was like, okay, we will. And then Don came in, and he says, like, I got cookies. And everyone's like, no one wants your fucking cookies right now, Don. And then Don left, ran down the hall, and told everybody what happened. And then later, Tim Sabian came in. He's like, Ron, I got a good idea for you. You could have something yourself. But he'd shit all over a wall. For some reason, he started to shit somewhere. I don't know why. So then he was out, and then the Stangles came over, and the Stangles were like, yeah, man, we can make this like Letterman. It's going to be like Letterman. And then Pete Davidson's like, Letterman? You're too fat to be on Letterman. And then they're like, well, at least my dad's still alive. And everyone's like, yeah, your dad wouldn't help anybody in a building. And then so they left with Harry, and they went to Harry to talk to him about it. He's like, I don't know who any of these people are, but at least I know where my gun is. That was the important part. And it was all in the paper. Everything was in the paper. So now, like, Anthony is going to be doing his show at the same time that Opie's going to be doing his show. And then Jimmy is the only one left in the mornings. And then somehow Sam is there. Yeah, that Sam, the guy that used to get water, like Opie's water is now in his seat. And now instead of being Opie and Anthony, it's Opie or Anthony. 
And everyone's like, maybe Opie's not going to go to work. And everyone's like, of course he's going to go to work. It's work. You go. You go in the afternoons or you go in the morning. You just go. And everyone's like, oh, shut up. Here comes Ron. Probably going to start some of that shit again from Raw Dog. Who's it? What's on Mast even mean? That's a stupid name. And that's why my favorite show is the documentary show. Because they talk about documentaries that are on TV and it's cool. Loving it. So that's all the gossip I got right now. But all you need to know, it's Obi or Anthony. And Sam is not with Eastside Dave anymore. Because I think Eastside Dave ate some shit. And I think it was Tim Sabian's shit. And Dennis Falcone came in our office and he's like, don't throw anything away. I'm a pack rat. And I'll save everything I have. And everyone's like, why? And then I was like, does everyone here need security? Hi. Who gives a fuck? No one's going to jack you at the bathroom. You're fine. And that's why we all hate Ron. Because <laughs> he's like, uh, like, hey, everybody. Come see me at the Unmasked. I'm going to be talking to somebody. That's fucking stupid. That's the stupidest shit I have heard. Uh-oh. And then Don came in, and he was wearing the same dress as Opie and the same dress as Jimmy. And they're like, one of us is changing. And then Jimmy's like, I got a dress like this. I have a date. And I'm like, yeah, then he should wear the dress. And then Sam says, mm, this chair feels good. That's all the stuff that happened. That's serious axum. The serious axum days. I think that's everything that happened. And then Anthony's like, I'm going to tell you the truth. Years and years after, it happened. Even though when they did the unmasked, they all lied. And said they were friends. But they weren't. It was like five minutes later, they stopped doing a show. And then Anthony's like, I'm walking on Greg's shells not to get in trouble. And we're like, but you have a gun. Why didn't you use it? <gasps> and that's everything that's happened at the Siri XXM. None of it makes any sense. And it's all made up and stupid. It's dumber and worse than Ratch. I just came by. I will be careful because I don't want to be seen as a gossip. Go to my Pinterest page because I have a blog on there. And I'm going to put up a video, a viral video later. Zoo. And then you try to figure it out. But it's good. It's a good zoo. So, Tim Sabian's gone. Anthony's gone. Hope he's moved the afternoons. Stangles are gone, but they're with Harry. Don is hanging up pictures next to Earl. And nobody knows what anybody else is doing. But it's really gossipy and good. Hey, it's the Bennington Show on a Wednesday. September 28th. You know, now I finally get what the song Wake Me Up When September Ends uh, means. I get it after all this time. Um, John Williams, our musical guest today. I'm Ron Bennington. There's Gail Bennington. Yo! Uh, and I'm Ron Bennington. And that person that was hiding on the floor, trying not to get caught up in it, was Chris Stanley. Oh. He's my eyes and ears of this place. He tells me everything that's going down. And it's all happening, right? <laughs> Everything's going crazy around here. Ron's it's wild. Wild as always. Oh, Jesus Christ, yeah. You keep your head down your ears open, you know? <laughs> like fucking being in Vietnam. <laughs> Just everyone, you should be in fucking sneakers and black pajamas. That sounds like comfortable. It is nice. That's one. That's why Viet Cong won comfort. Purely 
based on comfort. Yeah, they had good style points. If I was in Vietnam, Hats. I'd be like, and I saw the Viet Cong, I go, ooh, are we too early? <laughs> Should we come back after you shower and change into something more uh, army appropriate? <laughs> and can we just have some tank warfare? Is it really <laughs> over now? <laughs> Is there even such a thing as a tank? Is there just... I think they still make them, but I don't know why. A, um... I feel like it's just a drone. It should just be a drone army at this point. Uh, <laughs> that's where we'll basically be. Yeah. And the any military guys will just be nerds who fucking play video games. Which I don't even know why we say nerds do it. It's everyone <laughs> plays video games. Even the president of the United States. He loves it. He likes Madden. Does he? Is that his? I'll play his ass right now. <laughs> play his ass up. I can't tell you how many times the Eagles have won the Super Bowl. I'm thinking about moving over and just let the Rams get a little joy in their first year. <laughs> like there would be some drama to that first year. <laughs> <laughs> After Madden, they like to sit around and do a fucking interview into a tablespoon. Well, you know, it's one game at a time. I know we're eleven and zero, but I'm not looking at it. You know. I'm not looking at an undefeated season. I'm just looking forward to the fucking Redskins. That's all. One game at a time. Yeah, that's what I said. I would just, it would be great if somebody would go, you know what? I like to, <laughs> there goes Sam by. Just walking the halls. Yes, thank you. Congratulations to me. Yes, thank you. Um, But no, no player ever says this. I play two games at a time. In my fucking head, like a genius. When is Keith the cop going to buy dinner for Ron again? I'm always open to that. Chris, did you end up paying for those pizzas yesterday? Uh, yes, I did. <laughs> what happens is they go out, he sends somebody, because we were stuck uh, doing GPS, yeah. which is going to be LA in the 1970s. Shh, shh, Sam was talking to Jim. Like, Sam's just coming up. He acts like he's was like just casually walking by. Right. But he was like, oh, come on, they're doing a whisper bit. <laughs> um, you know, uh, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, the GPS, yeah. LA, the canyons. That's going to be a cool one. Yeah, that's uh, 3 p.m. East, Deep Tracks Channel 27 this Saturday. This Saturday. Which, uh, you know, that was the most laid back scene. But if you ask any of those guys, none of them were laid back. Watch the history of the Eagles, part one and part two. If you want to see maybe the best rockumentary of all time, because those dudes are on that ONA thing of, I'm fucking saying everything now. Yeah. You can't hold anything together. They're a lot bro bro -er than you would think. Oh, I always knew that they were bro. I mean, when you uh, when you do a fucking song called the, the Freaks Don't Want No Geeks, you're a fucking, no, the geeks don't want no freaks. And they used to even have at their parties a sign up that said no freaks. You're a fucking rock band. Yeah. You pussies. What's wrong with the freaks? And they, the geeks. They also uh, used to do this thing, and it was back when, before this kind of shit even made sense, but they would have the Eagles softball team, and they would play like against local radio stations or Rolling Stone, and they would wear softball uniforms and, and fucking cleats. And they're just playing against these fucking music nerds <laughs> who are in fucking Converse and <laughs> bell bottoms. You know, they would just go out and crush them. And they'd be like, yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> 31 fucking three dudes the these eagles guys rule yeah these guys <laughs> fuck with us with their reviews but the eagles <laughs> kick fucking royal ass so the pizza that's what you're gonna say oh yeah the pizza was the fucking funniest part so chris tries to order some pizza so, on on um uh, to expense it yeah he was going to expense it because i mean we were we were just fucking behind you know 
we were just sitting here going like this. Okay, now who's who? What other bands are out there? <laughs> you know, we had really fucking fa- fallen behind with that. And then the pe- the kid comes back with pizza, and then he didn't have a receipt again. And that's happened to you a couple of times. Called, yeah, Spencer Berger on his last day um, declined and, to get a now, receipt. Here's the thing. This is the weird kind of boss that, that Chris is. You won't yell at them, and yet you won't be cool with it. You just sit there and you just, just fucking rage inside. I because I feel like you know the yelling and the screaming is bad. In what way? It's just that oh, it's, it's maybe it's like. Negative. But everyone knows that you're enraged, and in my case, <laughs> I found it funny, and I'm like, oh, I could pay for this, but why stop the uncomfortability? <laughs> and plus, I know you're constantly fucking doing shit on that account for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Well, our receipts go into every month's expense. Don's like, uh, why did the show need an ottoman? <laughs> well, if we need to be comfortable, it's in breaks, man. Come on. It's a nice ottoman. We're keeping it at my house right now. Yeah, I mean, for storage reasons. I want to be comfortable. 